Good evening, everyone. I'm Jasmine Veal. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Pat and Juan are off tonight. It's now been almost two years since this clash at Echo Park when the LAPD moved in to move the homeless out. A fence went up around the park. And now neighbors are on guard because there's a plan to remove the fence. KCAL News political reporter Tom White live at Echo Park with more on this story, Tom. And Jasmine and Jeff, a huge issue here. This is the fence in question. It surrounds the entire park and it's closed off at night. Neighbors say that prevents crime and other drug use from happening in the park. But the council member here says this fence is coming down. The fence around Echo Park is dividing the neighborhood, both symbolically and literally. But its days of standing on the park's perimeter may be numbered. Save the fence! A group of neighbors who live close to the park are trying to keep the fence in place. From the moment we walked in the park, they almost stepped on a dirty needle. Nancy Ochoa was born and raised in Echo Park and has a young daughter. She says the park before it was cleaned up and the fence installed was not safe or sanitary. There was fecal matter everywhere, human waste. The tents, they're either getting high, having fights and arguments amongst each other. Almost two years ago to the day, activists clashed with police as the city cleared the park of a sprawling tent encampment and installed the fence. Sanitation workers would remove 35 tons of solid waste as well as sharp objects and drug paraphernalia. Fast forward to last year's council race in this district and the veteran council member here was defeated by new council member Hugo Soto Martinez, who made the fence a campaign issue. We took a position. Uh, that we would take it down. And, and Soto Martinez uh, says the fence does not provide long term solutions on the homeless crisis. Essentially, uh, an elected official throwing their hands up and saying, I can't address the issues, uh, so let's just use a band aid and, and put over a fence. The councilman says his office will be equipped with outreach workers if people try to move back into the park. The reason a lot of that happened is because the previous administration. Let it get out of hand. Right now, there there are no encampments there. I mean, can you guarantee that that will stay that way if the fence comes down? What the team that we are assembling and the the folks that we're working with is, is if if someone does show up to the park, that we will meet them with the services and the housing that they need. Folks don't want to live out in the street. They don't want to live out in the park. Soto Martinez says he does not have a date yet for when this fence is scheduled to come down. He says he's still hiring the staff and wants to make sure all of that is in place before the fence comes down. I also reached out to Mayor Karen Bass's office to see if she has a position on this issue. We're told right now she is not taking a position on where the fence should stay up or come down. Reporting live at Echo Park, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News. Passionate on both sides. All right, Tom, thanks so much. A desperate search tonight for a teenager missing since.